non-communicable diseases represent the largest cause of premature death globally. Most NCD-related deaths occur in developing countries, primarily from heart attacks and strokes, cancers, diabetes, and chronic lung disease. NCDs cause great financial strain and suffering for the world's poorest people. It affects eyes, kidney, even the legs, you know. And when you are like that, maybe you can find yourself you are not doing much the way you used to do. In responding to this epidemic, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals include a call to reduce NCDs. Poor people uh, are actually more at risk for developing NCDs than the rich, and the South is actually more at risk than the North. Risk factors for these NCDs include smoking, harmful use of alcohol, physical inactivity, and unhealthy diet. Globalization, urbanization, and population aging are driving the NCD epidemic. The country will lose in the range of 3.55 trillion U.S. dollars in the years from 2012 to 2030, unless this trend is reversed. In 2013, the United Nations Secretary General established an interagency task force on NCDs. In countries around the world, UN agencies led by WHO are working with governments to improve the prevention and management of NCDs and to address their impact on health, socioeconomic factors and development. Создание UN Task Force для нас явилось важным моментом в объединении и интеграции усилий различных организаций и подразделений системы ООН в деле оказания помощи населению в борьбе с инфекционными заболеваниями. The task force has more than 30 members with a secretariat based in WHO. And the lead of the WHO and we want to make sure that our intervention can be an added value um, in, in, uh, in the response uh, to the global plan on NCDs. Each of the UN agencies brings different skills and capacities to addressing NCD problems. For instance, UNICEF focuses on preventing NCDs in children. In seeking to address women's health needs, UNFPA and UN Women have a special interest in limiting the impact of NCDs. UNDP focuses on the relationship between NCDs and poverty. And the World Bank works on the way NCD prevention and care are financed. The task force is now developing a set of joint programs to help countries reduce NCD risk factors and the burden of cancer, and to increase the use of cell phones to promote healthy behavior. The actions of the task force are most important at country level. To date, the task force has conducted 14 joint programming missions, bringing together the UN system and promoting multi-sectoral action across governments. We are looking at not only one aspect, but various other aspects like with health, education, um, promotion, profit. Um, I think all of those uh, have to be integ integrated into one platform if we are going to actually make a difference. I think bringing this very much officially into the UN agenda and then into the Indian government's agenda is a very vital contribution. In preparing for the third high-level meeting in New York to take place in 2018, the task force will intensify its work with UN country teams to scale up actions. It's become now an interagency affair, and it really uh, requires a collective and concerted effort uh, to tackle issues related to these uh, uh, non-communicable diseases. 